So this is uh, an analysis for Hemrock, but today I don't have just me, I have a special guest, uh, Max from the EU. Thank you for coming in and doing this thing with me. Yeah, no problem, man. Looking forward to it. Good to be here. Cool. I will also uh, screen share because I forgot to do that. <laughs> that would be useful. You want to look at the match, eh? So this is, uh, we're doing analysis for Hemrock. Uh, I just copied the file so the names are kind of messed up. Actually, I wonder if, it's, if I fix it. Oh, there we go. Um, <laughs> just, just me playing any, the, the, the tag, the yeah. tag little bussy is the Hemrock guy we yeah. analyze. Um, yeah. so I don't remember me playing this match against, um, Hemrock. So I don't remember much about it. I probably just did something <laughs> stupid. Um, oh, I actually remember I was molding over how stupid jumping heavy kick was. Uh, as a, like trying uh, to do it as any, uh, but yeah. it's not. It's not analysis for me. It's analysis for him. So, yeah. um, their specific point was they want to focus on neutral and offense with Fukua, not just brain dead jumping heavy kick every time. So oh, yeah. we can watch this match and try to see what other things they could be doing rather than just jumping heavy kick. And maybe if the if the straight answer is just jumping heavy kick, like maybe think about what are potential counter plays that they could be doing and what are some things that uh, Hembro could keep in mind with regards to. If I'm gonna just jumping heavy kick, what could they do, and what could I do? What could I do based on what they want to do? Stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Cool. So let's just watch the first match and see what we see. I I'm molding. <laughs> oh, molding <Okay>. already. Easy combo, don't don't bully me. Yeah, that's combo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted something to just end it. Ooh. Hey. I messed up. Oh my god, that catches me way too often. No. Oh You got scrambled on dude. Yeah. Any whiff punch would be nice, but that's okay. Oh my god, a combo, please. <laughs> holy, holy. <laughs> oh, that one's really good. Oh, they catch nice. me a lot. Yeah. Okay, go me. Once that happened, I was like, wow, that's actually nuts. Damn, you got worked. I did get worked, actually. I don't know how to play this matchup, but I mean, I'm not here for me, my learning. It's a weird matchup. Yeah. Okay, cool, good. Cool, so... um, My thoughts on this match, specifically, I guess I'll give my piece of the thing, is I feel like Annie has a really difficult time stopping Furukuo from just jumping heavy kicking all the time. Um, my options a lot of the time aren't, like, a lot of the moves that Annie has don't hit, like, her shoulder level from standing, which is, like, what I do with Philia. I'll, like, do a bunch of jabs to, like, stop her, stop Fuka from jumping heavy kicking all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Annie doesn't have that because her jab is, like, in the body, and her crutching light punch is the one that you want to kind of want to use, but, like, it trades in a weird way a lot of the time. Um, yeah, yeah. Catching heavy punches, what I often feel like is the best uh, reward, because yeah, that one's hella good. Yeah, it'll it'll hit her, it'll knock her down. I get the medium fireball afterwards, and blah blah blah. But it's like so specific to time because it's like not necessarily a fast move, and not necessarily the most active either. For the from the best of my knowledge, yeah, like no, really, it's, it's like, like too hard, maybe. Yeah, it's like really really hard to 
get that to work reliably. So whenever I'm just like crouching in neutral, I'm like, I'm hard reading that he would do it and like trying to react. And it's not necessarily the okay, best strategy, I think. So I think yeah. if I was approaching it from that aspect and I don't know if it's like anything, it might just be a me thing. It might probably is just a me thing. Of, uh, yeah, I feel like her buttons, thing. like any buttons specifically, are not that well built to deal with it personally. Yeah, I think two HP is really good, but like you said, it's not that easy to place. Yeah, but it does have pretty fat uh, reward. Like it does a uh, huge amount of damage on her yeah. as well. Yeah, it's twelve frame startup and three frame active. Yeah, I'm like I'm trying to thread yeah, a needle with it. Basically, yeah, need to twelve, hit that 12 is too time. much. Yeah, I think. Basically, need to hit that button at the same time as Fuku hits jumping heavy kick. Otherwise, I'm not gonna get it. Yeah. Probably need to just be above her more than anything. But yeah, that's yeah. <clears throat> enough of me doing my analysis, but which doesn't matter at all. We can watch their match and see what specifically they could be doing better in neutral. Because I think there yeah. were a few few things I was like outplaying them pretty hard on and they could be doing better. I think this round start choice is good and um super jumping back and stuff like that, I think you should do that more as Fuku if you're having work because <clears throat> they spend a lot of time Kind of sitting around grounded, which is not necessarily what you want to do, especially if you have like a kind of air advantage, because Annie has no double jump, so it's kind of annoying if you can sit in the air a lot of the time, and you know, using stuff like dash jumps and double jumps a lot is quite useful. Like staying grounded isn't a bad option, but I think in this matchup in particular, it's not the best option. Mm -hmm. But you want to kind of flex all your options a lot more. And, um, auto parrying and stuff like JHK is quite common, but I think there are like a lot of opportunities where <clears throat> Hemlock could um, like preemptively JLP you instead and just clap you out of the air. Mm -hmm. Instead of going to stuff like 2MP Antius, because any JHP is pretty disjointed, and I think if you chimps place that right, then you're going to beat out 2MP anti -air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, those are the main things I noticed um, straight away. Mm-hmm. That, I thought this was kind of weird, personally. Where this happens, and then this happens, and then this happens. Yeah, see, I would go and jump a piece straight away. <laughs> right. Because especially Cause, if you uh, whiff jump light punch, it's like you can still double jump out, right? Like if you do a rising Yeah, light exactly, punch. yeah. Whereas this is like... Yes, this like this doesn't... In, uh, in the current meta, like... People don't do buttons in place to stuff shit like this. But, yeah. um, you know, because it's not like melee or whatever, where people short up in place or garbage like that. Um, but I still don't think this is necessarily like that great EV of actually hitting. Like, it's not great. Oh, yeah. It's not going to lose too much because people don't do things that beat this specifically. But it's also not going to work very often, I think. Yeah, I think for game one, like one of your first interactions, is a pretty big risk. Mm. I would, um, yeah, I, I doubt you're going to read someone kind of not jumping and holding back kind of mid screen after a blocked hit. I yeah. would just kind of sit back and then see what they do and then mm. it's the kind of thing you could go for if you feel like you have a good read on your opponent. Mm. But again once uh, it's over I feel like they have time to JLP you after. Like they can see that you haven't committed to something. Yeah. And like JLP here would be definitely the right option. You see I don't know what happens, it looks like they're gonna beat you but that's definitely close to them not winning that air yeah. to air. I'm gonna see how far it is actually. How fast is jump mini punch? I'll look it up in a second. So jump mini punch is uh <clears throat> fifteen first out of wow that button is really slow. Yeah, it's hella good though. Yeah, compared yeah, to Fuku JHK is nine frames and JLP is seven, so Three, and the that hitbox in this direction is way better. Yeah. Yeah, that button had it had a while from coming out, but that's just like that wouldn't work yeah. better against um other uh air to airs in this scenario. Yeah, I think JHP JLP sorry is definitely the right choice. Yeah. It's kind of like a no brainer when you play the character, but it is often just <laughs> do that. Yeah. That oh yeah, also nuts. I noticed, th these, um, these resets are like hella loose, like you can definitely just yeah. jump out of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double jump away. Yeah, you can, you know, you're out of hits now. Yeah, yeah. 
You can even match jumping. Well. You can match like jump heavy kick on the way down or something. Yeah, you could match some yeah. um, JMK as well because yeah. <clears throat> it's called cross up hitbox. Yeah. If I was going to match a falling button, I would do medium kick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That block was nuts though. Holy. <laughs> That same side, that's nuts, bro. But yeah. Yeah, this is one thing I think is really bad. Fireball like this. Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon yeah, they should do there's, instead? There's no real pressure to commit to this fireball early or to the double jump. Like, I think if they jump back, they should wait and see what you want to do. And if you're running up on them, then. He can jump forward and then L fireball, and then he's moving off to the right while covering himself. Whereas this fireball feels like a kind of autopilot decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the fireball. Yeah, I, like, I wouldn't. I'm gonna pull Sorry, out the go thingy because the the fire the fireball goes that way, kind of, n kind of no, that way. Down. Yeah, 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 that way. Whereas I am over that way and running that way. Yeah. And then going that way in a spiral up. I love using this way too much. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, I'm not, I would, I'm not gonna you, be in sorry, that. Back, uh, sorry? If you go back to when they to their first jump. Oh yeah. Yeah, so this is fine. And if they were to instead of double jump they just did L fireball, it would keep pushing them forward while they still would be able to double jump after. Mm -hmm. Kind of keeps them safer. You really don't want to like run up and double jump and then use all your air options immediately because obviously the opponent's going to know exactly where you're landing basically mm. and be able to mess with you. And you don't have the best kind of falling buttons as Fukua. Mm. It's not what your air buttons are kind of built for. Mm. But you do with it. So. <laughs> I, I was just, I was just sad when that happened. I was like, man, this game sucks. They get blown up for it, don't I? Never mind, I don't get blown up for it. Let's go. Never mind. Oh, this is gonna happen to me. Oh, piss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, that yeah. happened. I was like, man, oh my man. Yeah, that's a DP block stream. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty yeah. nuts. For one bar, too. That's, that's insane. I blocked those. That's a good reset, yeah. Yeah. Can you uh, cross up jab there? Probably just walk under, right? Yeah, you can walk under. You can 2MP. That's okay. safest, I think. Right. You can I do mean, a lot of fuckers with that reset, you can like, um, if you run under over and 5 HP and they block, you can cancel to command grab as they land and it'll like... Oh yeah, it's the, the softy yeah. thingy. Yeah, yeah. Oof. I feel like they can mash here, right? You guys are rapping. Can you go back, sorry? Yeah. Why am I getting hit? Oh, I'm holding forward. Why am I holding forward? I don't know why I'm holding forward. That's a bit weird. Oh, I'm yeah, dash. Zero. Dash 2 LK, wow. Yeah, you're 0 here, so I would definitely just JHK here and like try and restart pressure. Yeah. Wait, is it 0 on hit? Yeah. Like drill. That's nuts. But it was plus. Yes. That's pretty whack. <laughs> wow, that's... It's, it's like pretty safe on block, right? That's like the big draw for it or something? No, oh, it's like minus 21. Like drill? Yeah, light, oh, no, heavy drill. No, this is this, no, that's light drill, isn't it? No, am I, am I crazy? I feel like my brain isn't working. Uh... Oh, that's, that's oh, medium yeah, sorry. drill. That's <laughs> medium drill. Yeah, they pressed two buttons, so I was confused. Medium drill, mm, I don't even really know. Where's the frame data for this? <laughs> it says recovery hits on blocks then. Can I just have friend data please? It's plus four on hit. Oh, I'm reading the wrong thing. I was oh, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, sorry, it's plus four on hit. Yeah. Plus four on hit minus on block. Plus four on hit's not too bad. You definitely jump heavy kick is good here. Yeah. Not a lot of a uh, uh, after good. after any draw on hit I would just jump heavy kick. Yeah. It's a like illegal good scramble yeah. option. <laughs> Yeah, no need to block unless you think I'm gonna DP, which I haven't shown to DP basically the entire set. Yeah. Yeah. So like right here. So go back to when they're jumping. Yeah. And you crescent in. Like the fact that you have a double jump means you just don't have to deal with this interaction right now. You can just jump again over. Yeah. And then goodbye. Especially because Annie doesn't have like a super 
high speed dash at the beginning. Like, if she's dashing forward already, she's not gonna be able to turn around and come towards you quickly. You're yeah. most likely gonna get out of this situation and yeah. be at like, a considerable distance from her. And true! Yeah, I think they're playing a bit too respectful of you. Yeah. Which is like, yeah, it's fair enough. Yeah. Again, yeah, that we says hello, loose. Yeah. That was a bit weird. Yeah, I think, yeah, a bunch of situations there, you don't want to press GHK, you just want to jump JLP. Hello? Chimps? Mom, I'm doing Eno. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing Eno with a stranger on the internet. Yeah. I'm hey, putting on, I'm, I'm, I'm putting this on my YouTube, not the <laughs> SGOC one. <laughs> I cannot tarnish their reputation. Only mine. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you don't want to JHK people in there, really. I don't think there's basically any situation where JLP is not better in there. Mm-hmm. And yeah, 2MP would have worked there if their time out like super well. Yeah. And there's a jump in here. Although, nah, see, it wouldn't even. This is why the matchup is not kind of free, is these jump ins are kind of awkward to do, deal with. Yeah. yeah you but should, like, definitely kind of snipe these. Which... forward a bit too far. Yeah. Like, if you were to kind of hold your ground, then this probably would have been an anti air ball. Hmm. What's happening here? I can slow mo, can I? Yeah, there we go. Like you're trying to read me doing the jumping a bunch like over here or something, and yeah. even then you're trying to do okay, which not it's not gonna work unless you're like supre supremely catching my landing with your crush like which is like never gonna happen. If you can do that yeah. consistently, you're better than like the best players in the world. Like tr threading this needle of catching the landing recovery or whatever, but it's like not like, like that's like a hit that you're going for that that's like never gonna work basically. Yeah. So, I yeah, mean, I, I respect the idea. Many, yeah, I feel like they're going for too many kind of predictive plays when you can just kind of do the simple stuff as Huku and it's like super annoying for the other person to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, this worked out. I don't know if I get a combo or not. I don't know. If oh, I also, you don't even need to like stand your ground and um. And so you could just um, super jump forward and JLP yeah. the hell out of the nanny there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you say, using that like air run thing, like it's a great time for you to just get up there because there's no super fast or very good air to air buttons that Annie has. So yeah. What am I gonna do? Forward jump like punch or something? Yeah. Like, look at this. I have so much time. Like. Yeah. As soon as they commit to this, I would just get straight up there and JLP. Yeah. Just super jump forward and go. It's even regular jump works, right? Probably. Probably, yeah. With this height, yeah, probably regular jump works. And then I'm getting shoot. And then I drop the combo. Let's go. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> and then I try to read the jumping heavy kick with uh, crotch heavy punch. And when I was playing that set, I felt like I was thre uh, threading a needle with that every single time. It was yeah. So it like never. You definitely works. don't want. You definitely don't want to commit to JHK when you don't have your fireball either. Like yeah. you used it already once in this jump, and now this is a big whiff, like it's a lot of recovery. Yeah, I should have punished that, but I don't know how to with this character. I'll get there, but that's not about, it's not about me. <laughs> much as I, yeah, like another thing is like, I've whenever I've done a block string and I get pushed blocked, I always do medium fireball. It's yeah. Like, you know, look at the thing and that's not going to work. Yeah. I feel like once you once Annie's push block you out, you just don't really care because you don't really want to be that close to her because she kind of has a difficult time getting towards you. Yeah. Oh, I can't rewind should, in this Yeah, time. like the, I'm sure there's those videos and stuff about this, but you don't you want to think about like your place in the match and like the if the pressure is on you to go in, and I don't think it really is at all here. Not really. Like you're like, fine just kind of chipping her. Like you can avoid her projectiles really well, and she'll have a Tougher time avoiding yours, so if she mm. wants to play really slowly, then I think it'll, she'll lose slowly. Yeah. 
Because what is this? Like, he's just chilling here, you know, like, you have no reason to go, and before that, we basically had the same life, like, the same life bars. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Actually, I can check if it was the same life bar, because if I hit this, no, I hit this button. You're a bit ahead, yeah. Yeah, like, I have, like, 2,000 life more, not the biggest of deals. Yeah. Like, you know, a three-hit combo will do 2,000 damage. Yeah, and firewalls do, like... 600 on hit and 200 on block, so you like, you can make that up like hella quickly. Yeah. Just from projectiles. And this was a bit sus. I didn't actually catch that before. I don't know. This. Like. Yeah. You, there's no need to autopilot this in the way that you are. Or that they are. I guess they missed the double jump, that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Uh, big sad, you know, don't don't miss your double jump forehead. But yeah. even if you double jump, you like, kind of... will it actually hit? Uh, nah, I don't, probably, probably not, like, any really small crouching. Yeah. You kind of just, um, your instinct to win to, like, jump forward, JLP just kind of gets better as you play. But, yeah, <clears throat> like, learning how to cover your landing is important. Like, I think the JMK that I'm pretty sure that will hit you, like, cross up. Probably, You don't yeah. want to, JHK is pretty dodgy to press. Yeah. And then a trombini. Especially on such a small character. Yeah. Then I burned the bar because... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, good communist, problem, communist meter. I got the thing nice. though, let's go. Pretty nice. Here. Yeah, like, when I'm gonna do yeah, the thing, I'm either gonna dive kick or I'm gonna air dash, so... Good, 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 yeah. good catch. How close was it? What the hecky? That's not. Oh, oh, that's clean, clean, man. That's that's pretty sick. That's that's fuego. They can probably do this crutch how you punch work at this height, probably right. Uh, I feel like it goes a bit more forward, but it probably would, yeah. Because they're going to stand of, heavy of punch. Head. I guess it doesn't really matter because you. Oh, have... like in the chain. No, I would always do 5 HP. Or okay. 2 MP. Okay. Thing whiffed, what the heck? -y? Tried the same thing, but this time a little bit. Yeah, stabilizing the root after your 5 HP is kind of awkward. Yeah. That's a bit sad. You kind of timed it a bit too early. Oh boy, that was so close. Yeah. But the thing is, if I feel like if you type your. Yeah, if I time my button right, it's harder for them. It really how well they time it, yeah. This is why you want to just jump up and JLP, because you yeah. get her out before she can try. Yeah. That fireball was... That, that fireball whiff into grab was nuts, but this fireball was a who boy. <laughs> yeah. So if you're running up and JLPing people, then they're more likely to kind of jump in and... Uh, like try and get deep anti airs. They want to like see if you're gonna jump up, and then they'll press their button later, and which is when your anti airs become like hella annoying. Yeah. Because they're like quick and like head and ball, so. Yeah. You kind of have to have a good balance of both to really keep people out well. Mm -hmm. It catches me way more than I'd like to admit. Sorry, go back. What was it? The uh the block string into uh El clone. I always like yeah. try to do something stupid yeah. and I catch. So I'm like, come <laughs> on, man. I think you could probably kill her, by the way, if you're Fukua. If you just do like two chains towards the corner and then drill soup in there and then drill soup, drill soup on the ground, I'm pretty yeah, sure that yeah. would kill. Yeah, just keep a keep a simple combo here. And yeah, you need to be aware that if you use a clone, it slaps you straight into stage five, so you or your button's gonna trigger IPS and. Yeah. You're gonna build on Dizzy straight away. So if you want to do a reset, you should do it like straight away, basically. Mm -hmm. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, happen? like that—that's not a great jump in, in my opinion. I would yeah. do, uh, use JMK to jump in. Yeah, I'm I'm just timing this really badly. Like, if I hit the button a little bit earlier, yeah. you're getting smoked. Now that button's broken, man. I can't believe you mistimed it. 
I'm just I'm just built bad. <laughs> built defective. Like yeah, so um JHK is two active frames, which means you know it's not great. JMK is um six active frames and it's only I believe one frame more startup, so as a jump in it's like a lot a lot better. Because mm-hmm. you can also see it's that so... Hemrock is like uh you look at their inputs, like dial dial in the jump light kick, light punch to jump heavy kick. Like, you can dial it in and it hits and it's fine. And if it doesn't hit, you should just do jump medium kick instead, I think. Yeah. I agree with that pretty like, heavy. They got the, you can see in the inputs they're doing the buffer, which is, like, good. Like yeah. You should do that, like, every time. But, yeah. yeah. I think they're just default into pressing it in general anyway, so. Mm-hmm. Which is not what you want to do. But it's, it's very common with people learning the character, so. Yeah. It's okay. Plus, you know, the, the, the getting the jumping medium kick blocked is a different situation, I think. Um, yeah, like it's you actual, it's actual it, block stun as opposed to zero block stun. Well, not zero block stun, but you get what I mean. Like, if you block jumping heavy kick, it's oh the jumping the blocks are pretty similar actually twenty to twenty one. Okay, didn't think of that. Um, never mind. Describe what I said. I thought the block stun was more on I... jumping medium kick, but I guess not. It's actually one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it usually ends up with you being more. Plus though, because you don't. Yeah, you less got recovery. Your momentum, so yeah. Recovery. Anyway, yeah, go on. I'm getting unfeed right now. Oh boy. So this was weird. So this happened. Guessing that's meant to be fireball. Yeah, looks like it. It yeah. would have worked, to be fair. But again, it's kind of low reward, and I feel like this is a free JLP. Like, yeah, Chimps can't block here, so I'm I'm absolutely smoked here. Like you could yeah. see when I start when I could like start blocking too. Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one part I take YouTube videos over every time. But like I the only time I can block here shows up now, so yeah, I'm absolutely smoked here. Yeah, so I think if you're doing a heavy fireball when someone's jumping, it's good in certain matchups like you know stuff like a uh, double people that have like kind of air buttons that are hard to contest because it's kind of a safe option. Like if they're pressing a button, you get the you get reward of pushing them back towards the corner and then. They don't want to jump as much, but with Annie, like her air to is a hella bad, so you just want to JLP. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the jumping heavy punch hits like pretty much on top of her, and Annie yeah, is not a yeah. character that like Annie is not a character that you will find she will fla- fall like directly on top of you from high enough that jumping light punch is not yeah. gonna work. It's not like Valentine or whatever. It's probably really useful against Valentine, I'd imagine that button. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of awkward, like, it's not obvious where you should use that button in particular, but yeah. it is pretty decent. But again, it's good to know that the reward is not great. Like, if you get JLP, you're basically in there and you can start blending someone. Yeah. Because you buffer into HK, yeah. Mm. And again, like, if you... I guess... What, what do you reckon would be a better response here if they... They do this... They are, like, dashing, crush liking, and stuff like that. I feel like a better response is probably just a neutral jump and throw fireballs or something. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I get pushed away. Trying to read with an end here. Do you reckon there's like better reaction things that they can do instead of rea- just reading hardcore like this? Um, Like, what they like, they just like, see me jump. Yeah, I, I, would, the I would just wait. Yeah. Okay. There's no need to press something so early, yeah. And yeah. um, CMP is really fast, so... I think they're probably like slightly nervous or something, but like if they like really looked at their reaction speed, I'm sure they can react to someone jumping in like really deeply with two MP. Mm-hmm. You just kind of get used to pressing the button, but it doesn't have to be like that preemptively, no. Mm-hmm. And this is again just a hard raid, like that you don't need to do yeah. this. If I had, yeah, uh, if that's I'd... like a read of you doing like IAD or something, but like yeah. you haven't done that like the whole set, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, not really. If I had the reaction speed I did when when I was 14, I would have smoked this, but that's okay. <laughs> Crash medium kick hit and... Kaboom. With what? Crash medium kick. 
Uh, maybe. That far? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting that. Yeah. Well, someone is for sure. Yeah, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, not in, not in current no. day and age. Who oh, boy. <laughs> Feels bad. Like, this is like, that's not gonna work. You know? Like, yeah, they're also just not, not being very patient and just throwing fireballs. Like, they if they yeah. want to throw fireballs, they probably want to be around, like, this area relative to me being yeah. over here. And if you do want, like, screen space and you want to run up and do something, you should press 2 HP because it'll poke him on the ground and it will anti air him and you can cancel into fireball as well. Mm hmm. Or you could cancel into Elkland because, like, it doesn't look like he's going to block it. I, I don't. It's unblockable on me. <laughs> I'm actually like notoriously like Fuku is definitely my worst matchup out of all the characters I I, I like yeah. reverse. We don't have any, do you? So. Not really. I know. But yeah, like if you when you're watching doubles, they do a lot of stuff like they two HP Luga and stuff. And yeah. Five HP Luga. You can do like similar stuff with clones and two HP and your darts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have again like if I was a young zoomer, I would have smoked this, but that's okay. Pain. Yeah, if you do, if you whiff that um, jump heavy kick, you should just do a fireball like straight away because you really don't want to be whiffing that button. And if you have the fireball, you should do it. Yeah. That he says is nasty, by the way. Yeah. Whenever he did it, I go hit every single time. I was like, wow, that happened yeah. again. Why wow, that happened again? <laughs> That's nuts. I think they do too much um, stuff after this. So if you go back to the reset. Yeah, so you do that a bit earlier so you don't get the combo, but you get the OTG, it's fine. You want to like reset like straight away, you don't want to do all these air chains and stuff. Yeah. And if you do, if you're on this ground string like here, you do 5 LP, 2 MP, sweep level 3. Like I'm pretty sure you can kill him, and like I doubt he's going to block that. Like you slide No, I'm, I'm that getting hella three. smoked by that. Yeah. I, I've literally been playing this character for like 6 months and I'm... It must have been blocked like twice ever, and never in a tournament ever. Uh, that's just, that's just, cool boy. It's mad cheap, like it's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, in, even if you're not going for that reset, like you should go for whatever reset you want earlier. Yeah. Because like, look at the damage you get. Like, it's not much at all. Yeah. So what? Uh, yeah, the cat just doesn't do a lot of damage, and uh... yeah. Like, look at this. It's it's like 600 right now, right? And that's like basically I'm at zero and dizzy. Yeah. And like, although they do like lose their OTG, so yeah, you can't um root straight into your M Shadow, which is you know why it's important to get your pick up straight away. Yeah, but there's like you know there's there's other resets you can do and stuff. So yeah, like you know probably just like reset into command grab or something would have been good. Yeah, yeah, you reset, can reset into command grab level three, like who oh boy. Yeah, that would have been that would have been sick. And yeah, the the one you mentioned with the cross under level three, that's no one's blocking that. Yeah. And like look, like it's he's basically done two thirds of his and dizzy bar and only done two K damage. And I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm chill with this. Yeah. Give zero shots and then I you know get out of the way. So that's one of the fireballs that I really like. I think that one's really good. It's a bit risky though, no? Uh let's look at it. I feel like they didn't necessarily react to you jumping. Nah, no way. So, no. and if you jump like a bit later, you're just gonna hit him for free. Yeah, or if I just keep walking, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But like, um... again, like it's not a bad option, but I feel like it's a uh, quite a committal option. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe do. Oh, the fireball's not back yet. Maybe do a fireball right now. That'd have been good. Yeah. That's a bit too late. But I still think like if you do medium fireball, it's probably fine. Yeah, medium but I would do. Th that's, over, these yeah. are the sort of things I think you should go for a bit more than like dash, crouch, light kick and you know, stuff like that. I yeah, think. yeah. I mean, I think if you're in the corner, like it feels like a panic option because it's not something they've been doing often, like back off and fireball. Mm. But if you're in the corner against Annie, you can probably just um, like super jump forward and then double jump and just walk out of the corner because she can't get you up there. Yeah. And if you like super jump upwards and then L5 will, like, you'll cover a lot of horizontal distance and then, yeah, and you can save your double jump for later to kind of keep yourself safe. The answer. Mm -hmm. Hey, the nice. one. Nice. There you go, yeah. And then I'm getting a shamote. Never mind, let's go. It's fine, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> oh! <sighs> Holy! I'm so bad. You've been done. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. 
Yeah. When that happened, I was like, well, that's... Drop, though. Yeah. Sorry? It's a good uh, recovery from the drop. Too yeah. Hard, so. I was like, wow, that happened? Maybe they were just conditioning you the whole set with the... With, with the, the bad blow. <laughs> <laughs> just dashing up low and now you've been thrown, yeah. I guess you so. should always, pretty much always, come on and grab that, by the way, because, um, yeah, it's just going to hit more often because you can't delay tech it, so. Oh, I, I never take delay tech against Fuku anyway because she's got a command grab, so why would I? Yeah, but they did do no more, though, so you could. Yeah I, yeah, I guess so. But it's like, I, if I think, like, Fuku is going to grab me, I don't think that I'm going to delay tech because if I do that, the command grab yeah. will smoke me anyway, True. so. Well, they had the bar, so you should always do it regardless. I guess so, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's mostly this one. The other one is more yeah. um squiggly focused, like how to hit squiggly properly. Oh, okay, cool. But we can still watch it for <sighs> Fukua specific things or yeah, man. In general, I play a lot of Fukua squiggly, so swag. Encore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> These colors are straight awful, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> From the Fukua? <laughs> yeah. Hey, look alright. The Parasol one's not too bad, but fool. You are all good, I think. That was hella risky. Oh boy. This was a bit a spooky. This one? I'm unspooked every time. Mm. It's just too close. It's like, man. He calls Big Ben at all, it's Ow. over for you. Wow, that's crazy. Another thing, like, one thing that they don't do at all here is, uh, especially now, you can just jump heavy kick and call, uh, uh, call, uh, Fukua, and there's nothing they can do yeah. about it. Yeah. Because what's she gonna do? Double horn, devil horns you or something? <laughs> yeah. Kick W. There's a bunch of people that play Parasol with Joel, so. There's a lot of people you can watch do cool stuff. It's a really good duo, honestly. Mm. <gasps> pain Peckle. Wow, well, never mind. No punish. Why well, never mind Pain Peckle? Oh my... <laughs> I love Pika's inputs. <laughs> <laughs> no! Ooh. Peach, never mind. Okay, hitting swiftly. How do you... So, I think one of the things you do is you don't... One of the things they're doing here, that's like... I noticed it was a really bad play when I played Parasol. Is this. If you dash yeah. jump, you give up all the benefits of having the disjoint anyway. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You gotta do that shit more in place. Or like yeah, slightly jumping jump, forward. Yeah, jump JLP is like hella good. Yeah. And while it's harder to confirm off that, like you have an assist, so you can call assist up. Yeah, doing yeah, exactly. Punch. It'll give you a trombini or it'll give you some pressure. Yeah. Oh. There's go. Never mind. Beast. Holy. This is a skill issue. Never mind. Oh! Holy. This is a sweaty match, man. Oh! <sighs> that's a cheap. You know, yeah. that's the that's like one of the only overhead cancels you can't just hold a forward out of. Tilts me to this day. <laughs> well, that, that makes up unblockable on Parasol if you can't do anything. Pick yeah, W. That's fine. Man, that dizzy as well. Okay. Uh, oh. Oomphy. Oh boy. Yeah. So you can notice, like, before you jump the squiggly or super jumping, which means your JLP is not going to hit regardless of what they do. Mm. But you don't want to jump up that early anyway, because, well, at least in my experience, squigglies do, like, a lot of double jumps and dive kicks and stuff to mess with their air trajectory. So that's never really going to hit. Mm-hmm. So we can just yeah, like just wait more so. Well, so. Yeah, just wait and then anti after, because it's not that easy to 
JLP her anyway, because her JLK is fat this twin as well, so it's not like the freest anti air. Mm -hmm. Air 2S, sorry. Mm -hmm. Just pretty tricky. Thankfully, Fukua has good quick anti airs. Yeah. You know, like, you know, committal big things. I mean, she can do big things if you want to with 5 HP, I guess, but that's not, that's not good, you know? Yeah. Hopefully you don't die for it. Never mind, you die for it. I, I lose it a decent amount in this matchup. More, I would think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I don't really know why, but yeah. Because <laughs> it's like super tall, so it'll end up catching yeah, things yeah. more easier. This was a bit sus. Amogus moment. Yeah. It's just not the scramble button you want to press in there. Yeah. You probably win with JRP though, I reckon. Let's see. All yours. Yeah, yeah, because it's 7 frames, so if you press it straight away, I think you just clap her up before hers comes out. Yeah, the, the main thing is... I think it is that big. <laughs> jump, paper, jump light punch is going to come out like this area? Yeah. More like this, maybe, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's better, yeah. But, yeah, and like, it'll probably... Uh, how active is it? Let's see. 4 Very. frames. <laughs> yeah. Four frame active compared to 2 frame on dive kick, you know? So this is like... Yeah. This is more of a whiff punish, I think. Yeah, oh, I think this like person done. is really yeah, this is done. aware the JHK is not like the best button to press, but needs to figure out which ones to press. And like yeah. a lot of the reason the JHK is not great is because it's only two frame active, and mm. they're just a lot better, uh, better buttons to press a lot of the time. This is a good jump out, just uh, chill. Yeah, see, that's like a free anti there, for mm. sure. So this one, oh, what the heck? Oh, what? Wow! You definitely shouldn't do that, but it, it did work. <laughs> I mean, Squiggly can uh, DP on reaction if she has charge, I guess. Yeah. You get like that fireball super is not in roll and it's not anything really. Like it stops your elementum a bit, but it's pretty dodgy. Yeah. I mean, it worked also. Kick W. It did work, yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's. Pretty much that one. That one was more meant to be like offense and defense and dealing with Squiggly, I think. I mean, we covered yeah. most of it. Like, defense, yeah. he did pretty all right. Like, nothing was insanely bad. Mm. Um, offense, yeah, pretty much like offense was also pretty all right. Just like you, the neutral was the big issue, I think. You know, just waiting is, is probably gonna Same. Yeah. help you. A you lot. need to be a lot more patient, especially with assist. Like, if you're 1v1 against Squiggly, uh, you can kind of do a lot more of what you want, but with Biggs, then you really need to. Put some, yeah, give her some respect and <clears throat> weigh a lot more. Mm -hmm. Especially because she doesn't have an assist to like, she doesn't have burst, which is what a lot of people in Europe play with Squiggly, so mm. she's not gonna like bully her way in. She's gonna have to take some kind of risk on you. And especially if they're super jumping a lot and they can't call their assist, it's kind of like your opportunity to get something done mm -hmm. and not kind of panic and press the wrong button, yeah. Yeah, pretty, pretty hard agree on that. Um,. We could watch that ma match quickly, but I mean, I think we I think we covered most of it anyway. It was more about yeah. just like actually paying attention to what Squiggly is doing rather than like anything specific about anything else as much. Yeah. Really. If you if you use your two eyes that God gave you and pay attention, <laughs> then I think you should be. Oh. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe God didn't give you two eyes. I don't know. I'm Pretty not here to toxic, judge. man. <laughs> maybe you know. If if he didn't, then you know sucks to be you, I guess. Yeah. You know, hold that L or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta be really careful against Squiggly, by the way, because half your stuff will just drop on her if you haven't practiced it. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of the standard routes you combo into M Shadow just don't work on her, which is um cool. Sounds lit. Um, I yeah. guess it's like just Do you wanna, up spe yeah. specific things. Yeah. I think the way that I would see the matchup is. You wanna mess with, like they jump a lot, like that person in particular definitely jumps a lot. You wanna like anti air, you wanna air to air, and you mm -hmm. wanna force them to kind of try and use their ground options, which is just pretty bad, and then you can just use JHK to kind of stuff them out. Mm -hmm. Or if they're gonna camp and call BDX, and then like that's chill as well, you just want the assist yeah. once or twice. Yeah. Maybe not sweep it, sweeping is probably pretty bad, right? Because if you if yeah, you don't if, have great counsels, yeah. Yeah, everything you do is gonna lose to just a raw daisy. Yeah. I guess unless they do BFF, I guess. No, it's still gonna lose to Daisy. Daisy's oh, active in over sixty yeah. frames. Sixty. 
it's it's like it's like actually just insane. I'm pretty sure it's 60. It's like the only move that's more invul than that is car. What about BFF? BFF is 38 frame 30? startup. Oh, okay. You always got that fast, so whatever. Um, no, it's 37 because it's one or the other one. It's like definitely the uh, high 30s. Um, I know this because a perfectly me throw is like minus 38 or something. And if you do it properly, <laughs> she can't be FF you because you can block it. Ah, uh, okay. I remember having this way too long ago. Um, made a video about it and everything. That was pretty cool. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, invul. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37 frame invul on uh, Squiggly Daisy Pusher. And 5, 10, 15... 23 frames active. Oh, it's there. Yeah, so 23 frame active, 37 frame invul. That's pretty big. You're not gonna beat it with. I guess maybe you'll be able to DNB. Oh, not DNB, sorry, I'm BFF. Gotta be. Gotta be threading the needle to do that. You don't wanna be in this situation anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably just launch the assist and get, get the hell out of dodge. Yeah. If you really wanted to push it. Yeah, you could 2 MP the assist, by the way. Yeah. You don't have to just 5 HP, because 2 MP is quicker. I would yeah. do that. But Not yeah, you just want to think about like your place in the matchup, and um, often what you're placing as Fuku is waiting for someone to come in on you, and then messing with them. Mm -hmm. Like, your scrambles are super good with JHK, but like, you need to force someone to have to play that game with you first. Cool, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. So thank you for coming on, Max. That's really helpful to get another player's insight. Yeah, no worries. Usually I just spout off stuff on my own and, and characters that <laughs> I don't play as much or play against as much. I'm like sure you would have done fine. Like, I, I feel like I would like other players' insights on matchups I don't play as often. Like, I don't know much about Fuko or Squiggly, so I wouldn't know, like, you know, half the stuff that Fuko does drops on that character. I would just say Squiggly, kick W, and move on. Yeah. So if it's a Fuko specific thing that, like, Fuku needs to look at for Squiggly rather than Squiggly just drops out of everything on Mega Lol, then like, you know, something to look about. Yeah. Oh, also, my other piece of advice would just to do the easy mix ups. Not easy, but like the. There's, um, if you do 5MK, 5HK, M Shadow, you can just do like an easy four way with JLP. Going into. The person did a lot of their resets from Sweep, which is like the best damage point, but. Um. They were doing that weird um, side switch reset that they did on you where they like step over to the other side. Mm -hmm. Which is actually, I'm pretty sure like you can mash out of that. And like, it's kind of difficult to go off. Like they only got it off that one time. And uh, it has like variations on different characters and stuff. I would just default to using like the really, you know, simple but like hella good four way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean you could always look at my guide. I've got loads of resets on there. <laughs> And character matchups, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely endorse that. I'll put that in the description if I remember to. If I don't, yeah. just, pull, just yell at me and I'll... It's fine, yeah. <laughs> no, I, 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 I should, so if you... If uh, all right. If it's not cool. there, just yell at me and I'll, I'll make sure it's there. But, you know, again, yeah. thank you very much for coming on. I think it was... Yeah, no worries, man. It was Thanks for cool. having me. We might, we might do this more often, depending on other Fuqua stuff Jeez. that shows up. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe some more guys will come up, yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll just maybe I'll pick up the mantle. Yeah, would be nice. She's a a low tier, so yeah. Guru, I am a low tier. Guru, <laughs> me uh. too. <laughs> anyway, oh good man. Yeah, go go do yeah, your man. go do your real life things. See ya. Yeah, I got work now. <laughs>